where you at, who you with. What's going on, everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you how to create a very, very cool 3D wiggle kind of effect that you guys can overlay on your music videos. Very, very easy to do. It's very simple. There are some things that you do need to kind of take beforehand, and that's going to be the actual effect, which is the wiggle effect, which is this here. So if I push play, it's going to look something like this, and it's very easy. We can add all the other effects on top, but the main effect here is the wiggle effect. So what you would do is you're going to open up uh, this app that I downloaded called 140 millimeter retro wiggle uh, wiggle gram maker. You can find something similar if you're using Android, but if you go over to the settings and go to the tutorial, it'll kind of go step by step showing you guys how to use the app. And honestly, this is the best app that I've used. This is not sponsored in any way. I just found this app to be the best one out of all the other ones. So when you open up the app, all you got to do is take a photo, move the camera a little bit, very, very subtly. Don't don't move the camera too much. After you take the video, you can actually change where the location or the target mode. When you're ready, you hit export and you save it as a video or as a GIF. And once it's on your Mac, we're going to jump into Final Cut Pro 10. And I already have it imported, which is this one here. So if I drag this above our media and I zoom in and I push play, it's going to look like this right and it does add a watermark i already have like another gif that i want to use but this is the same process you would go with right because i already have one imported here i'm going to use this one that i got on i think pinterest so i'm going to drag this into the timeline and right now it's pretty short so this is the normal the full length of that gif which is a animated video so if i drag it over here and i disable the background it's going to look something like that and then the same thing you can do with this here so if it's too short, honestly, it makes it pretty long though. So you should be fine. You can also trim it down or make copies by holding option. But anyways, we're gonna use this one and I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna duplicate the clip, holding option and just dragging over to the right. So now if I push play, it'll look like that. Really seamless of an effect. Then I think those are good. I'm gonna right click and make sure that this is how long you want the effect to last. I think that's fine. So I'm gonna right click on both of those. I'm gonna create a compounds clip and name this GIF final and click okay. So now it acts as one single clip. Now that we have that, we can easily delete it from the timeline because it's added to our project here and re-enable the clip by pressing V on your keyboard and go to an area that you want to add the effect to. So we're gonna go about here maybe and it doesn't really matter where because you can split the clip. So that's what I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna split the clip right there. I'm gonna cut it, so Command B. Let's go with this one where he's counting the money. And let's just pretend that this is our sequence, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the GIF or your own GIF or video that you just made. We're gonna drag the GIF that we got from Pinterest. I'm gonna drag it in the middle of that clip. We're not actually gonna drag above because that will change the length of the clip. So we're gonna drag it in between to kind of create almost like a transition in a way. So we're gonna do something like that. And you're gonna notice though that the background is black. So we're gonna change that to match the effect, which is a three video layout. So to do that, it's very simple. We're gonna drag this clip over to the left, select your clip in the timeline, go over to transform and next to position, you're gonna go over to the X and just drag this to the left so that it kind of goes within these, like if you think of it as a grid, we're gonna go about here. So maybe a little bit more like that. And you can also scale this up too. And because this is very rugged already, we can leave it how it is. I'm gonna drag it like that and click done. We're gonna go over to the effects and we're gonna go to masks. And next to mask, we're gonna go over to the shape mask. So add that onto that clip. And we're gonna get rid of the feather. So click on the next to feather, type in zero to get rid of it. And I'm gonna zoom out of the window, go to 25. And I'm gonna make this a, so it's not round, just drag this kind of gray circle outwards and adjust the size with these green circles, kind of like this. Then once you're happy with that, what we're gonna do is make a copy. Hold option, click and drag. And then all you gotta do is instead of in the shape mask, you're gonna go down to transform and just drag this over like so. And then we're gonna move this one below so that it actually hides underneath the mask. And I think that is fine. And we can also adjust this once we kind of um, duplicate our clips. 
So don't worry about the position too much right now. Just make a copy. We're going to do the same thing. Hold Option and drag downwards or upwards. It doesn't really matter because you can change this. From there, again, go to the position. Go to X. And we're going to drag this one over to the right side. Something like that. Again, this is being cut off. So click on that clip and then click and drag this inwards to kind of adjust the size and the position. And I push play. It'll play all at the same time. And it looks perfect to me. So now if I push play, it's gonna cut off like that. And what we can do to kind of make it a little bit more interesting to kind of make it flow nicer with the video is we're gonna select all of these, right click, and we're gonna create a new compounds clip. We're gonna name this GIF comp for uh, composite. And then now it acts as one single clip, as you can see. Now what we can do is go over to the transitions and next to transitions, go over to the, I think it's under lights. And we're gonna add the flash transition. This is built in into Final Cut Pro. So just click and drag this onto that compounds clip. Now you may get a message saying there's not enough extra media. That's just because of uh, this. If you click and drag, it's kind of red. So just drag this inwards so it turns yellow. That way it doesn't um, create extra frames. So now you can drag the flash on here. You might have to make it more, so you might have to kind of shrink this or not shrink it, but trim it down more and then add the transition as you can see. So we're gonna do just that and we're gonna drag it like that. Now if I push play, it's gonna create this super smooth flash transition. Now I wanna add one more thing on top of this clip and that is a kind of a super eight millimeter film look. And you can get this from my pack. If you guys visit my Selfi store, links is in the description. But this is one asset from the 20 different assets you can get in the uh, pack. So I'm gonna click and drag this right above my media and I'm going to trim it to the length. So Command B and then delete the rest, then select the clip. And what we're gonna do is go over to the effects, go to blend mode and change this to, um, you can do multiply, the multiply works. It'll look just like that. Another thing is if you want it to transition with the same one, uh, all you gotta do is just add another flash to this and then kind of extend it like that. So now it kind of goes with it, as you can see. So if you go over to the folder, once you get the pack, you don't have to get the pack for this to work, but this is totally optional if you wanted to. Uh, I have different ones here. You can add like a dust hairs, which could look really cool. So I'm gonna add this one and maybe this light leak, I think could look really cool. So I'm gonna add these two. I'm gonna click import selected. And maybe instead of this, I'm gonna delete it and just add like this dust hair kind of uh, overlay and I'm gonna trim it, Command B, delete the rest, and then change the blend mode to screen. So if I push play, it's gonna look something like that. And then I might want to also add the flash transition, trim it to its desired length. Perfect, so now I might wanna add the light leak. And then the final look, if I go to blend mode and change it to screen, it's gonna look just like that. Look how cool that is. So this is without the pack. Still looks insane. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you guys want to send me any video ideas uh, or just comment down below as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and turning on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this. And I'll catch you in my next video. What you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map. Never slip. Keep your hands.